Hey, everybody, this is Tom Sharpling, and welcome to Best Show Gems, the best of the best show on WFMU. Basically, this is a podcast we're going to do every other week, giving you a uh, bite sized version of all the mirth and mayhem that goes on every week on the best show on WFMU. So please check out this exciting clip. WFMU, you're on the air. Yeah, hey, is this Tom? Yes, it is. Hey, Tom, it's Augie Richards down at uh, Ye Old Burger Barn in Newbridge. How you doing, uh, what, Augie? Yes. How you doing, Augie? I'm doing good. Hey, uh, just calling to uh, tell you that we love the show down here. Great, thanks. And we would love for you to uh, broadcast from here some night. To broadcast from where is this now? Ye Old Burger Barn in Newbridge on Route 4. Okay, I, I would do that. I guess we have uh, means of setting up remote uh, broadcasts. Well, hey, that would be great. And I also wanted to tell you that uh, Tuesday night here at the uh, Burger Barn is actually best show on WFMU night. No, that's yes. got, you've got to be putting me on. The place is packed. Actually, I'm calling from across the street because it's so packed at the Burger Barn and it's so loud. Really? Yes. So what do you do at a, a night... Best show on WFMU night? Yes. Like, what goes on? Well, we have, you a, don't mind me have a killer stereo system, and we uh, blare the, uh, your program all, all throughout the restaurant, and people just go crazy. They actually, uh, they actually go nuts when you do your, uh, your song intros. Really? Yeah. They go nuts for that. They, they do. There's something about it. Whenever you, uh, whenever you uh, announce what the station is and that sort of thing. They all say it with you. Really? Yeah, it's great. We'd love to get a glossy photo of you. We'd put it up right next to uh, Jerry Only. To who? Jerry Only. Who, from the Misfits? Yeah, he, uh, Jerry eats here all the time. Sure, I could do that. Well, that would be great. I would definitely do that. That's fantastic. You're going to so, love the food, too. So we, what, what kind of stuff uh, do you sell? At the, I, I guess, obviously... The name answers the question. Ye old burger bun. Yeah. You know, I, I'm actually kind of surprised that you've never heard of us. Why is that? Well, you know, it's, it's packed quite often, and I, uh, I could guarantee you that probably half of your listeners there are probably eating at the, uh, at the burger barn on a regular basis. Half of my listeners yeah. eat at the, with the ye old burger barn? In Newbridge, yeah. In New, New, okay. Yeah. They, they might. So what... Uh... Is it mostly burgers? Is that what it is? Oh, it, it's not limited to that at all, Tom. We've got the best uh, batter buttled fare in the country, hands down. The, what is that? The best what? Batter buttled fare. I don't know what that, that means. You've never had a uh, batter buttled burger? I don't think so. Oh, what, what, is it, what is that? Tom, you haven't lived yet. What is a batter buttled? Well, Tom, let me just say that... Ye Old Burger Barn in Newbridge is proud to be just one of only three restaurants in the entire eastern seaboard that has what we love to refer to as the batter butler. The batter butler? Yes. And what is a batter butler? Well, let me just say that the batter butler is the wave of the future. Okay. Okay, well, say you want a hamburger, okay? But uh-huh. this, this, is not, this process is not just limited to hamburgers. Okay? Okay. First of all, you've got your burger. Mm Mm-hmm. You get to pick what kind of batter you want on your burger first. Okay. What do you you mean, batter? Well, we put the... We dip the... uh, Actually, you dip it. The uh, the customer is able to pick up the burger, dip the burger in the batter. There's three kinds. There's thick, heavy, and the bomb. Okay, these are all batters? You mean like bat... Like what? You mean like... The way things get battered, like like fish sticks oh, or something. Well, it's beyond that. You could have fish. We have uh, several fish entrees on our on our menu as well as chicken. But there's also three flavors of, of batter. Okay, there's rye, lemon, and chocolate. These are different batters. They're all great. But I don't. I'm, I'm, why would anybody put a, a hamburger into batter? Wait till you taste it. What I would do if I were you is I would take some calls and just uh, 
I'm, I'm sure the phone lines are lighting up right now. Actually, yeah. the, the phones are completely dead. That's because everyone's here at, at the Burger Barn, and they're listening to the show here. Really? Well, the yeah. phone number is 201-200-9368. This is a new experience for me, the idea of batter, butler, food. It's actually, Tom, it's batter buttled. Okay, batter buttled? Yeah. So that... let me get on with the process, okay? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, wait, your place is in Newbridge? It's on Route 4 in Newbridge. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's actually just outside of Newbridge, beyond the Commons, but before Muffler Row. Before what? Muffler Row. What? What is Muffler Row? Well, it's actually right in the uh, the thick of where the Strip used to be before uh, Route 38 uh, was built. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so it's it's like a, what is it like a like a business district or something? Well, well, it used to be. I mean, it's uh, we're undergoing a resurgence right now. You know, we're kind of building the area back up, and uh, the Burger Butler. Uh, addition to uh, the tavern. Actually, it used to be a tavern. It's been in my family since uh, the 1840s. And uh, it used to be the Newbridge, uh, ye old Newbridge Tavern. Uh huh. But now it's called the Burger Barn? I took it over from my dad and uh -huh. uh, wanted to just kind of revamp it and uh, heard about the Burger Butler. The Batter? The Batter the Butler. Burger Barn or Burger Bar? You got me. Cause it's too many B's. Oh, don't say that. So um, you have a batter machine? We have the batter butler. The batter butler is essentially... Well, let me get on with the process, okay? Please do. Okay. So, you've got your burger, or, or your chicken, or your fish, or your uh, zucchini, whatever. You put it in the batter, thick, heavy, de bomb, or rye, lemon, or chocolate, okay? You put it in that. Then, you put it in a little... Uh, we, we call it the dunking uh, cart. You put it in the dunking cart, and you lower it, lower it. All this takes place at the bar, too, okay? You lower it yourself, okay. and it goes into the batter butler. The batter butler is essentially a 15-foot-long uh, pool of golden oil that is nestled under the bar. How, how big is it? 15-foot long. That's a lot of, uh, oh, it's a lot of oil. It's beautiful. So, uh... Then you just watch your uh, your food get buttled in there. Uh huh. Yeah, and then you uh, you reel it up. Okay. Okay. With what? Oh, it's a, it's like a crankshaft. Okay, so you're reeling it. Yeah, there's 15 at the bar. Okay, one for every foot. So you reel it up, and so people are lined up like they're on the side of a, like a ship or something. That's like a good way of like looking at on it. On a fishing uh, trip. That's a good way of looking at it, but there's so much more at the uh, at the barn. You got to come down for yourself. But it, anyway, okay. So you take the uh, the burger or the food out, okay, with the tongs because it's pretty hot, okay. Uh huh. And then you need to let it cool for about 45 minutes, and then you're good to go, friend. How long do you have to let it cool for? 45 minutes. Well, but that's that's kind of hot. Well, it's pretty hot, but tell me. I also got to tell you this, okay? And this is. Uh, Something we tell everyone who comes in the burger barn, okay? Uh huh. Don't kick your feet under the stool at the bar. Okay. Because the uh, batter butler is not a toy. Well, I'm sure it's not a toy if it's 15 feet long. Well, it's also that, but there's something else too. Uh huh. There what are did, several. What? There are several pipes that bring in the gases that fuel the uh, batter butler. Okay. And any uh, tomfoolery could be quite dangerous. Like what? Like kicking? Well, kicking it or uh, doing anything that disturbs the uh, flow of the gases. And uh, the batter butler actually runs on uh, liquid fuel called uh, Zelftar 143. What is that? Well, Zelftar 143 is essentially uh, rocket fuel mixed with CO2 and uh, compressed about a thousand times. And that's what? That's what fuels this thing? Exactly, yeah. And uh, Tom... Uh huh. When you come here, don't lean on the bar because the uh, batter butler can get uh, hot. We actually have what we like to call the hottest bar in New Jersey, and that's that's actually true. It gets to about 250 degrees. Two? Where where does it get 250 degrees? Well, the plexiglass over the batter butler is uh, is what gets heated up sometimes. Now that's a bar. This this is still a bar, though. Yes. Well, it, it, it's more.
more than a bar. It's uh, you know it's a restaurant. Uh, you can come here and you can play darts. Uh, we have a great video jukebox. But it, but if you are at the bar, say I go in and I don't want to to do anything with this batter machine. Oh well, you can uh, you can have a beer. Do you like beer? Yeah, sometimes. But I mean, I'm I'm. Uh... Say I do. Say I want just a cold beer. Okay, I would just say, okay, what do you want? And we'd have we have several different kinds. And uh, uh, if say you ordered a Miller Lite, I'd say, okay, that'll be six dollars for a ten ounce beer, and uh, you would pay your money, and you would be ushered. But that's a in. little. What? How much is it? Six bucks. Yes, for a domestic ten ounce. That's that's pretty steep. I mean. Well. Tom, you I, know, thought, I mean, it sounds like it's a pretty casual place. You're just playing darts and you have... Uh... Well, Tom, I, I should also say that the uh, the prices will be coming down as soon as, uh, as, soon as we uh, offset the cost of the, uh, of the batter butler. The, the, so you, you are... How long have you had this machine in your studio? Well, Doris uh, studio, and I... I mean, your restaurant. Doris and I uh, took over from uh, Pops. About four months ago. Who's Doris? My wife. Okay. And we got the batter butler in there. And I'll be honest, it's uh, it's an expen- expensive undertaking, uh, the batter butler. Well, we, got a, we got a mid-size. There's uh, three sizes. There's small, medium, and large. We got a mid-size, and that's uh, $50,000. Oh, my God. Yeah, but uh, it, it's worth it. I mean, this food is, this food is slamming. Now, do you get people coming in specifically for this food from this oh. batter uh, machine, this batter butler? We're getting very, uh, very popular. We have a lot of celebrities too. Uh, I, like I said, I'd love to add your photo uh, next to Jerry. Only we've also had uh, Philly great uh, Greg Luzinski. He's been here, and uh, Hector Camacho, and also uh, Jack Steeples from Adrenaline OD. So you've actually had all of those famous people. Oh, so yeah. I think my picture, and this is, I don't consider myself to be famous at all, and I'm I'm shocked. Well, you're very famous down here. Th- that just shocks me to no end. You're very famous down here. I would probably be maybe the, the second or third most famous person on your wall. Oh, I doubt that. Well, anyway, you come down here, here here's the deal, okay? You do your show. And I understand now that you're on from 8 until 11, is that right? Uh-huh, that's, okay. that's correct. So you'd come down here, you'd do your show, you'd take some calls, you'd, you'd uh, spin some selections on the video jukebox, and also uh, whatever you wanted to do, but I also want to say that we, your food would be half price, okay? Okay, so if you wanted the uh, burger... Uh, uh-huh. Well, I, I really, I would eat like a fish. Okay, say you wanted the fish burger special, uh-huh. okay? That's the... the uh, Fish burger combo, you would get that for uh, eighteen dollars. In and then that would what be nine, I guess. No, no, that would be uh, half of thirty-six bucks for a burger. Well, yeah, Tom. Like I said, you know, we're trying to offset the cost right now, but it's all—it's only. Oh, I understand really. that, but that's you know, well, it's, it's you also this. not completely fair to pass that along to uh, to the customer. I mean. Why does why does the customer have to absorb all of the cost of this thing? Well, that's just how business works, don't you think? I really don't. No, I mean business usually is. Uh, well, how about this? I'd uh, I'd cut your uh, bathroom price in half, okay, to a buck. You what? I'd cut your bathroom entrance fee to a buck. I'm not going to pay to use a bat. <laughs> a buck. So you charge $2 to let people in the bathroom at a bar. Yeah. It's, it's, Tom, please stop using the word bar. It's, beyond, it's, it's so much more than that. We have a very extensive uh, memorabilia room for the, uh, the batter butler also. It's kind of like a museum. Of what? Oh, all, all kinds of uh, batter butler memorabilia, T-shirts, buttons, uh, all, all, all kinds of things like that. But what's memorabilia for a machine? I mean, that's just, I've got to say, look, first of all, I am flattered that you do have a night for, for the radio show. Okay. I do appreciate the fact that you have a night where you, 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 uh, you guys all listen to the show there. That, that, that I, I'm, it surprises me, but I'm glad that you do it if, if, you know, I, but I, I kind of, I really would have second thoughts about being associated with something so, so pricey. 
Well, Tom, like I said, it's 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 just for the next two years, okay? And how about this, okay? Two years? The night that you're there. How about this? Here, here's the deal for everybody. Uh-huh. The night you're there, TV is free, okay? The TVs that we have up are free. And also, it's only going to be a buck to look in the museum. How... Can I just ask how you normally charge for the television in the bar? Well, we have a row of TVs at the uh, far end of the uh, uh, of the barn, okay? Uh-huh. So we go around and we take a dollar from everyone who wants to actually view the TV. And uh-huh. if someone does not want to view the TV, we just uh, turn their chair away from the uh, television. So without their, if it's not their choice, yeah, the TV gets turned to the, the chair gets turned away from the television. Exactly, that's not too much to ask. Now I'm shocked that I'm shocked at the idea that this place uh, that that you run your place like this, and well, you Tom, you even say that my listeners w- would know this would the, this place. I mean, I'd love to take calls from anybody who's eating there at the burger. What is it, the burger barn? Ye Old Old Burger Barn in Newbridge on Route 4, yes. 201-200-9368 is the number. If you've eaten at uh, the Burger Barn... Hey, I'd love to have you have uh, something sent over to you. What kind of of batter do you want on on that fish burger? What are my choices again? Okay, well, there's three, uh, you know, three uh, different kinds of batter. That's thick, heavy, and a bomb. Uh huh. Okay, and also the flavors you've got. Uh, your choices are rye, lemon, or chocolate. Yeah, I'd, I guess I'd I'd be forced to go with lemon just by default. Uh, well, could I make a uh, suggestion? Sure. For fish, I would definitely uh, advise rye. You'd suggest rye. Rye, yeah. Okay. It's really good. Okay. Mm-hmm. And on. How about those French fries? I, I would definitely advise chocolate for that. Ugh, chocolate French fries? Oh, they're good, they're good. There's no way I... Eat. No, it's like eating a... Uh, it's dark chocolate, too, so it's like a Hershey's dark chocolate uh-huh. bar. And uh, just, you know, poured all over uh, all over those fries and then dunked in that, in, in that golden pool of oil. That sounds horrific. Oh, it's good. Let's take a call right now. WFMU, you're on the air. Hi. Hi. I have a question. I'm, I, I've never eaten at the burger um, barn. I mean, I, I would, I don't know, I'm pretty game for anything. I would probably try it. But I've got a question. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like you got a lot of health violations. Like, how did the, like, the Department of Health, how did, how did you pass? I mean, like, customers handling food isn't really kosher. Well, I like to think that we operate outside of that, uh, that scene, so to speak. Um, you have to have an occupant, a license of occupancy, and you have to have uh, well all that. Do you have that? Well, I mean, see, the old uh, Newbridge Tavern was zoned back in, in like I said, in the uh, actually the, the 1820s. So that sort of zoning does not kick in or pertain to what the establishment is now. So it's like grandfathered in. Exactly, exactly. Oh. But how can you be grandfathered in and have all of that equipment? Like what was that? What's that fluid that you said you were using for that machine? Zelfar 143. I mean that 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 must require different zonings than what they were yeah. used to in 1920. Not that like, I'm aware like, of. Like I'd like to bring my kids, but it sounds dangerous with darts flying and people drinking beer. I'm afraid of fight. I mean, do fights break out because there's alcohol? I, I'm afraid for my kids. Well, sometimes, but you know, we just got to. Uh... If that does happen, we have several security agents who just maneuver the fight away from the uh, the pipes, yeah, right. and away from the bar also. Mm-hmm. And uh, hey, if you come down, okay, what's yeah. your name? My name is Hector. Hector, if you come down, here's my deal for you, okay? Mm-hmm. Half price on darts, two fifty. Oh, you you charge for darts? Well, sure. Can I bring my own? No way. I mean, that's a little. I mean, bar. Usually, a bar just puts a dartboard up as a way to just keep people engaged and having fun at the bar. Well, here's the thing, Tom, okay? Uh-huh. Charging, besides offsetting the, the uh, batter butler, also tells the person and or people who, who want to play darts that you've got to be serious about playing darts because if you throw that thing off center and it, and it hits a, uh, a pipe, 
But who's going to throw a dart that's going to hit the bar? Who knows? That's Elftar 143. If that, if that goes shooting all over the place, that is going to be a bad day. But uh, don't you feel unsafe having a uh, something like that in your own bar? Not at all. No? No, you shouldn't either. I would feel ho- I would I would not be able to relax while I ate at a place that First of all, so it's like I'm paying five times as much as I should for food that I'm but I'm all, but my life is also at risk well, while I'm this? here. How about this? Uh-huh. Okay. We'll also make it Tuesday night's entrance fee is half price too, okay? It's only 250 now. So you so if I go and do a, a live simulcast there, you're going to still charge me to get in? Yeah. I've got to, Tom. I've got to offset the uh, cost of the batter butler. Well, I understand that the batter butler costs money, but that's that's not anybody else's fault. But I, I feel like, Doris and I feel like we're providing a service for the community and uh, in, in terms of bringing this new batter buttled fare to the uh area now i'd love to talk to anybody who's eaten food that has been batter butlered let's take a phone oh, come on get the it's batter buttled uh, batter buttled okay wfmu you're on the air hi tom tom are you pulling our leg or do you really believe this guy i mean i have any rocket fuel for a oil burner under a bar that's 250 yeah, sir, degrees sir, sir. where you're supposed to put your elbows while sir, you drink it, your beer? It's not an oil burner, okay? It's the batter butler. Yeah. Have you All ever... Right, 36 bucks a burger with uh, lemon batter. That's fine with me. See? I mean, have you ever eaten food that's been batter butlered? It, Tom, when I have batter fried steak, you know, chicken fried steak. Uh-huh. Here. Oh, sir, what's your name? I'm Steve. Steve. You haven't lived until you've had our fare, okay? That stuff, that uh, that chicken fried steak, that's bush league compared to the uh, batter right. muddled fare. Would okay, you... you know, doesn't this guy sound like the guy who you uh, had on a DJ where you had people calling up and voting who was the most popular, you or him, Tom? Well, no, I that's that what... That, I, I know that show, that was great. I mean, I know who that is. This, I can tell you. Yeah, your think. voice sounds very much like him. My voice? Tom's voice sounds yeah. like him. No, it's not you, Tom, but... No. Have you? Hey Tom, are you doing this, one of those things where you do both voices? No, no, I don't do anything like that. Have you ever? Are you in the Newbridge area, Steve? No, unfortunately, I'm up in northern New, in New Jersey, in Jersey City. Actually, uh huh. Have you ever been like on that route? What is it, Route Four? Route Four. I've been yeah. to Old Bridge, but not to Newbridge. Uh huh. Go to Newbridge. All okay, right. well, if I'm ever down there, I'll check it out. Thanks Great. Well, thanks for calling, Steve. Sure. Have a good night. All right. Um, I guess, well, another I'm, phone I'm, call. I'm really surprised that uh, you're not getting more calls. I'm actually more surprised the people who are who are in the burger barn right now are not calling in. Uh huh. Well, here's another call. Let's uh, get you on the air. WFMU, you're on the air. Hi. How you doing? Good. This this guy's got to be totally full of you know what? What full of Delta One Forty Three? I think he's totally pulling our leg here. <laughs> Come on. Do you live in Newbridge? No, I don't even know where Newbridge is. I guess it's down by what, like east? Is it like it's south of East Brunswick? Exactly, exactly. South of East Brunswick. Yeah. I grew up in East Brunswick. Yeah. Never heard of Newbridge. Old Bridge, not Newbridge though. Well, Newbridge, like I said, is is undergoing a uh, a resurgence. You know, there was a period from 1975 to uh, just about a year ago where uh, Come on. Newbridge was, uh, like I said, uh, when Route 38 came in, it really kind of kind of took the wind out of the sails uh-huh. down on Route 4. You know. Yeah. Another call coming in here. FMU, you're on the air. Yeah, hey, Tom. I've eaten at this place. You've eaten at the Burger Barn? Oh, yeah. How yeah. was it? i got to be honest with you. I thought it was terrible. Oh, sir, you've got to be kidding me. What did you have? Well, I don't know. I was taken there on a fraternity hazing ritual, and they just were, we were all drunk, and they just started feeding us this stuff. We get a lot of those. <laughs> it, it's what like, did it taste like? I, mean, like I, I can't use that word on the radio, okay, but well, please, yeah, please the... don't, by all means. But uh... I think actually what happened was the the burger slipped, right, and fell into all this whatever it is. Oh, it didn't splash on you, did it? Yeah, it oh, did. Okay. All of us, sir. I'm sorry about that. You know, Twenty of my pledge brothers and me. Did you go to the hospital. 
they wouldn't take us to the hospital. The fraternity would get in well, too much good. trouble. That's but, you know, these are the loyal things. Although, uh, they, if they knew about the place, I'm assuming it was good. Well, it is good. And I See, son, I think that you uh, probably had too much to drink and uh, going in. Uh, well, we were also underage. Well, well, we weren't we weren't well, drinking in the place, but I think we were we were pretty loaded, but we were underage. That's not my problem. See, it's a restaurant, though, too. Okay, so anyone can come in as long as you pay your five dollars. I see. Okay, but anyway, um, what restaurant charges admission that you know of, caller? The old Burger Barn. Well, I can name several in New York City. They're actually they 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 charge a cover. Yeah, but they I mean they charge. But this guy's actually. I mean, what do you sell a ticket? At this point? Now, here's what you get, Tom. Okay, you pay your $5. Uh-huh. You get your five-inch uh, asbestos uh, coaster. We didn't get one of those. You didn't get one? No. Tommy should have gotten you one of those. Okay, well, the caller didn't get one. So you did not, would you ever eat again at uh, the Burger Barn, caller? I think to get one of those asbestos coasters, I'd like. Uh-huh. That sounds pretty interesting. But you would never go there for the food, specifically. I live too far away. Well, uh-huh. so here's the thing. I think if you're... This is the kind of place you need to come. Oh well, he just when hung you're up. not drunk, you're not dr- your uh, your palate is is, is clear. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can totally enjoy the uh, the rich rye flavor. So you feel that he, him being inebriated took away from the it, experience? Oh, it certainly does. It certainly does. That's why I I don't allow the employees here to drink that much. That much while they work, yes. Well, you shouldn't be allowing them to drink at all if well, they're operating why, some. Why is that? Because they're operating some machine that's like 250 no, degrees. No, no, no. The customers operate the machine. But that's even worse, though. But you, you'll let a customer drink your beer. Yes. So you would let a man go into your place and drink a... Uh... Or, a or a child. I would let the child drink. I would, I would let him dunk his... Uh... Oh, his, see, that's... His batter butled fair into the batter butler, yes. You can't let a child anywhere near a... Uh, oh, I certainly do. M- ...equipment like that. That's just... Ins- that's. See, that's where I would draw kids, the line. Kids with. love it. Okay, well, here's what we do for the kids, though. We give them the protective uh, mask and the gloves. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, well, that's kind of you. Well, it is. Uh-huh. Those things cost a lot, okay? Yeah, well, I'm only sure got, they do. Only got one pair. Yeah, and kids only have one pair of hands also and one pair of eyes. Tom, you're nitpicking. Let's now, take okay. another. WFMU, you're on the air. Hi there, Tom. Yes. I just wanted to call and uh, extol the virtues of uh, French fries and chocolate. Uh, it's very good, actually. You love it, don't you? Well, uh, when I, did... I've never been to this particular establishment that the uh, guy on the phone is talking about. Well, who else has them? Um, well, just at any other food fast food place, I uh, you know buy some French fries and a chocolate shake, and I dip the fries into it. Well, that's the, good. Uh, what's that? That's a great idea, but it's not the same as as, uh, as a batter buttled fry. No, what's that? What's the difference? Oh, well, first you take the fry. Okay, you cook the fry first. Uh huh. Okay, then you you dunk the fries in uh, your choice, like I said, lemon, chocolate, or rye, and then you dunk it back in again into the batter butler, and then when it emerges, you're in for a taste treat after 30 minutes. Does that have a nice balance of saltiness and sweetness? Oh, it's got everything. Sounds delicious. So, do you are you in the Newbridge area, caller? Uh, no, not really. I don't know where that is actually. Where are you in New York? I'm in Jersey. You're in Jersey. Yeah. What town are you in? Wayne. Yeah, that's the completely the other way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for calling. You're welcome. So, I guess maybe I was I was wrong on you chocolate are. French. See, Tom, I'm I'm even at this point just uh, trying to decide whether or not I want you to uh, do a show from our place. So you're trying to decide right now. I'm so think, well, I'm thinking of uh, beaming in another show that night. And what show is that? Uh, Kid Midnight. What what it, what is and where is that show from? Oh, I think you know who Kid who Kid Midnight is. Yeah, I do actually. I was just trying to. Why would you do that if there's such a fan of my show there? Well, Tom, it seems like you are not willing to participate. With uh, the program at the uh, Ye Old Burger Barn, and and uh, it just sounds like you're just uh, not a team player. I would be more than willing to. Uh... No, I would be more than willing to do a show there. I just am not going to have a, a do my show mm-hmm. live somewhere. If you're going to be charging my listeners admission to get in that you keep, 
And but, if you're going to charge them $36 for a hamburger. Tom, it's a whole combo platter, okay? And I'm not charging your listeners to listen on the radio. No, you're charging them to walk in the door, though. Well, sure. I mean, I'm, try- I'm trying to run a, a business, okay? Yeah, well, you're, you're trying to run a business, but it's not a very fair uh, business. Okay, well, I'll just get Kid Midnight to do it, okay? It's no, it's no skin off my back. We love his show even more than yours. Oh, that's that's nice. 201-200-9368 is the number. If anybody out there has eaten at Ye Old Burger Barn in Newbridge, now's the time to call in. And uh, you, know, you know, why would why would you call and say you're such a fan, and then now you're going to side with uh, Kid Midnight? It's well, on. Hold Hello? on. Hello. WFMU, you're on the air. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we're calling from the Burger Barn right now. Are you're, you? Lo- are you loving it? Um, no. No, actually, my friend, um, he seriously got burned by the battler. Butter oh, battler. Are, are you serious? What? Yeah, yeah, what, here, here, what, listen what, to him, listen what, to him. Oh, jeez, okay. Uh, hello? Hey, what's your name, son? Uh, my name's John. Hey, John, what happened? What, uh, did you get too far over the bar or something? What happened? No, it, like, um... You can't go over, over the bar. I mean, what, did it splash up on you or something? No, like, I was, I don't know, I guess I had a little too much. Well, I see, that's the sure. thing. You can't No, I, I wanted to, like, just dip the whole burger into it. What did you... Well, he sounds drunk. He sounds he drunk. He does sound drunk. Son, did you lower the thing he just, in with he the just, other... He, he just hung up. Well, I need to know from him if he lowered it down in the basket or not, because you can't just dunk it in there, because, yeah, you will get burned. You will get burned. Okay, but, that sounds like... Uh, how can you let people do something so risky like that, though, where where it's just so close to, uh... you got to follow the rules, Tom. you got to put it in the basket, okay, and you lower it down. That's, uh-huh. that's the rules, okay? I can't have someone stationed at the, uh, at the batter butler making sure everyone adheres to those rules. Okay? Why not? You, you most certainly can and should. That's not my responsibility. It says... A big sign over the bar. It says, "Dunk at your own risk." Oh, that's that. You said they shouldn't dunk, though. But the, but you no, say I'm dunk. Saying, you got to lower it down in the basket. Look, if you, if you're going to lean over that bar and you're going to stare at that stu- at, at that hot hot oil and dunk that thing in with your hand, you don't deserve to eat at this establishment. Hmm. WFMU, you're on the air. FMU, you're on the air. Okay, we got another call coming in here. WFMU, you're on the air. You're you old you're, you're on the air. WFMU. Hello. Hello. Yes, I, I've eaten at the uh, the old burger barn. You loved it, didn't you? Uh, yes, I do love it. I can say. Yeah. How could you not love it? What do you have, sir? Uh, I usually like to take a little tour of the menu. To tell you the truth. Okay. So uh, what did you usually do? I take out? I do have a complaint. I think your takeout fee is a little excessive, even compared to your other fees. Well, you know, we got to pay for the gas, okay? So, Tom, essentially what we do is we add fifteen bucks on, uh, onto the order for delivery. For you mean for delivery or for just takeout? No, I, I take out. Yeah, for takeout, for delivery, it's actually thirty bucks extra. So you mean if I just call up and I say, yep. "Hey, I want a burger." Mm-hmm. But I'm going to pick it up. I'm not going to eat it there. Yeah, because if when you order and you and you take out, you do not utilize the other things that we offer, like the dartboard, the bathroom, the TV, things things also that we make money off of. So you're actually stealing from us. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Um, was that I saw something on the construction over in that other wing? Yes. It looked like some sort of uh, like ride, like a Disney kind of ride or something. That's going to be the uh, the Batter Butler Express. It's it, it's a mini roller coaster. Uh, it only has the has room for six occupants right now, but it goes it goes pretty quickly. Okay, and at the end of it, you uh, it goes right underneath a spray of Zelftar one forty three. No one ever gets gets hit by it. But well, what is this stuff? That sounds like the most dangerous thing I've ever heard. The idea of go a, going right under this poisonous chemical? Well, Tom, like I said, the Batter Butler Express is, is safe. You, you're you not going to get uh, you're not going to get sprayed with any, 
know, it's the stuff, okay? You're not going oh, to... but you go under a spray of it. Exactly, you go under. But uh, I should say that if you do jump up when the spray is going going by, then, yes, you do stand the uh, chance of uh, blindness and or heart stoppage. Okay. Oh, oh the chance. Boy, that's a... Uh... But I guess it's worth the ride. And how much does a ticket on this ride cost? $13. This place is not uh, not family-friendly, is it? Oh, I, I totally disagree. We have families in here every night. But, I mean, in terms of affording. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, it's, it's, it's as cheap as taking your family to a Yankees game. But it's a restaurant. Yes. At least when you go to a Yankees game, you get to see the Yankees. But you also get to uh, buy merchandise, and you can also buy merchandise at the uh, Burger Barn, too. For what? Like a... I should... The, the caller right now is a uh, running a restaurant in Newbridge. Augie Richards, proprietor. Augie, Mr. Augie Richards, who's running a place called Ye Old Burger Barn down in Newbridge, and he... Uh, He's trying to get the program to come down and do a broadcast, but I'm not. I'm not interested in it well, right now. And like I said, I'm losing interest in you. Well, I have a question for you, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, somebody just emailed in a question and wants to know. Uh, they told me to ask you about the Ziffer lawsuit. Aren't you ashamed of having a child visit your restaurant? And walk away with third-degree burns over 10% of her body. Well, that young girl should not have tried to piddle into the batter butler. That's, uh, p piddle into it. Now, here's another guy he, who's emailing in. Somebody named uh, Wendell wants me to ask you. Yeah. He says he's been to the burger barn a number of times. Bat he said you used to have a butterscotch batter? That's right, yes. And why did you discontinue the butterscotch? Because there was a strange reaction with the butterscotch batter and the uh, actual oil. Uh, it was There was a, a, a weird reaction where the Zelftar 143 combined with the butterscotch batter actually uh, scalded people. E even when it was... Uh, even after they they'd waited the 45 minute cooling time, uh -huh. uh, the center of the burger and or food, whatever you had, if it was dipped in in the butterscotch, it was still scalding inside, and we had uh, probably 13, 14 people get scalded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now this restaurant has been around for you said since what the 1840s? Well, it was called uh, Ye Old uh, Newbridge Tavern back then, but uh, we took it over and turned it into the old burger barn just uh, last month. So now you're coming up on uh, on almost 200 years of history, and you've, yeah. you see fit to change what uh, probably countless generations helped helped uh, create. You now are laying ruin oh, to I that. don't see it that way. I see it as taking it into the, into the, uh, into the next millennium, yes. Uh -huh. I, mean, I, I don't see it as... Uh, See, the past is the past, Tom, and we need to live in the present and or the future. And like I said before, the batter butler is the future. Okay, we got another call coming in here. WFMU, you're on the air. Uh, yes, I was just wondering. I was thinking of bringing my girlfriend there and asking her hand in marriage. Okay. Now, my question to you is this. I, if you have some sort of special presentation yes. of the ring as a surprise, like, I don't know, maybe put it in that butt thing that you're talking about, and, you know, dip it in and then just kind of, you know, pull yes. it out and yes. it'll be like a surprise for her. Well, yep. Would that be something you would do? That's something we have done. Here's what we do, okay? We take the ring, okay? First we dip that in uh, the batter and or flavor of your choice. I recommend lemon, Okay. Uh -huh. That makes my lips pucker, and I love lemon. We dump, it, ahead, we dump it in the butler, okay? Put it in there for about four minutes. We take it out, okay? We, we grab it with the thongs and, the, and the, uh, the thongs and the gloves, okay? Because it's hot. We put it inside whatever, you, whatever the young lady ordered, okay? We jam it in that food, okay? We let it cool not for the full 35 minutes. We let it cool for just 10 minutes, okay? So it's still kind of warm. We give her the, the uh, batter-buttled uh, entree. 
she and, bites into it and she burns her bites mouth down on a well that's part of the surprise though she gets a scalding bite of uh, of metal Boy, and that's but I, gar- I guarantee you that's something she'll remember forever yeah i'm sure it is it's as she, as she gets uh, all kinds of oral surgery oh well, well, that is that is something i'll say that for sure you can't you can't argue with the fact that that's that's a memory mhm that's yeah, a memory. that sure is. That's a memory that uh, that'll take a lifetime of of uh, doctor's bills to. Uh, to somebody just got an email here from Doug, who says uh, I'm actually in the Burger Barn right now. Okay. This place is packed. It is packed. He's emailing on a uh, Palm Pilot. Yep. Because the payphone costs eight dollars and seventy five cents, and only takes quarters. That's true. I don't. Is there a problem with that, Tom? Yeah, I think your phone is about eight dollars and fifty cents more than a phone should be. Well, Tom, that price will be get cut in half within the next year. Okay, so uh-huh. don't, don't bust my chops on that. Oh, okay? I'll, 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 yeah, I'll lay off. Hey, I'm sorry. Hey, Tom. Speaking of, I'm sorry. It's everyone else's responsibility to make you rich. Uh, hey, Tom, I'm not rich yet. Okay, I'm st- I'm still in debt uh-huh. here. Okay, but I'm I'm slowly coming out. I do want to give the website address for the uh, Burger Barn. Okay, absolutely. Are you ready? Uh huh. All right, HTTP, colon, backslash, backslash, www.geocities.com, slash, burger barn, slash, tilde, B butler, dot, three, seven, three, dot, double tilde, root, four, slash, exclamation point, slash, batter B, slash, dot, HTML. Okay, and what, what kind of stuff is at your website? Oh, you get everything. You get, uh... The different kinds of batter. You get testimonials by hundreds of uh, satisfied customers. You get uh, a link to uh, batterbutler.com. You get all kinds of things. You get uh, we have contests too, where you can get half price off of your uh, your entree, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We uh, yeah. We got another call here. WFMU, you're on the air. Hi. I think I think it's a great idea with the website. Is there any charge you get on the website? At the moment, no, but I am working on that. Okay, and and, and I've also eaten there in the restaurant, actually, twice, and, and I just wanted to thank you because I think you came over personally when I had all the bones in my meat, but you just explained it was the batter. Wait, come I again. Felt, I'm I felt sorry. so much better after that. Wait, come again. I missed the part about the bones. One more time on that. Well, when, when I was eating my burger, I thought there was a lot of bones in there, but you actually came over and explained it was the batter. Oh, Yes, that's right. The batter sometimes has the consistency of uh, of hard bone. Yeah, yeah well, they were they're, they're actually very hard bones. Yeah. And also about the marriage, is it possible? Would I be able to get a discount if I divorce my wife now and get married to another person? Now, are you saying divorce her at the at the burger barn and marry someone else at the burger barn? Yes, you definitely get a uh, half price discount. Oh, so would you you can put it into a whole package? Oh yeah. Oh, I am so excited. Thank you so much. Oh sure. Well, now, thanks for calling. Um, we do have a divorce uh, package, and here, here's what that is. Okay, say you want to break up with someone, okay? Uh-huh. Okay, say you're married, you want to break up with your wife or something. You bring her to the barn, and uh, she orders one of our succulent entrees, okay? Mm-hmm. We bring out to her, this is pretty funny, I think, a, uh, a buttled uh, lump of uh, horse crap. Why? Because then she digs into it and she gets a mouthful of surprise. That's not right. Oh, I think it is. You can, and, and I'm sure you can't serve that at a restaurant. We do it for men too. Okay. I mean, but, no, it's not. I'm not saying it's a matter of you being against women. It just sounds like something you wouldn't be able to do at a uh, at a food place. You can't fry up. Well, like I said, the zoning uh, kind of eliminates all the, all that sort of thing from our uh, from our. Uh, experience here. what about your own personal code as a uh i think it's funny well what about the fact that people now i did it to doris as a joke that's yeah, that's sweet now what about the fact that so, uh, do you use the same i hope you change the oil huh i never thought about that um no we don't actually that, that's something to look into though yeah you might want to look into that before the next person gets a uh a mouthful of, of uh, horse manure. Well, 
that would, jeez, uh, that that would require changing the oil, and that's that's not cost effective. Yeah, really. it's not cost effective. Yeah, you yeah. really run a real special business down there, Augie. It is special, and like the, like those callers have said, it's it's packed. It's packed. Yeah, it well. Packed. Somebody just emailed in. They said that there that there is an ambulance outside of the burger barn. Oh, geez, I see that. Yeah. Hey, Tom, I better go. Okay. I, uh -huh. oh, so, are you still interested in having this thing where I come down and do the show? You know, I don't know if your uh, your burger barn material. I think I'm, I'm just going to go with Kid Midnight. Oh, so is he going to do a live show there? We're going to do a remote from Omaha. Yeah. What What's the big deal about a remote? Well, I mean, Tom, I, I, I don't want to come out and say it right now, but uh, Kid Midnight, you know, ever since he broke that record, is uh, is a hot commodity. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna fill this place even more, way more than you ever could. I, I wouldn't want to ever fill your place and put money into your pocket. Well, good, then it's settled. Okay, Kid Midnight's gonna do it. All right, and it's also settled. Uh, uh, Everyone listening, please do not eat at Ye Old Burger Barn. Hey, you can't say that. In Newbridge, I just did. Okay, well, you're sued. D don't eat. If you live in Newbridge or around Newbridge, by all means, avoid the the Ye Old Burger Barn on, what's it, on Route 4 and Toilet Row, was it? 1736 seven, one, Route 4 in Newbridge. Near, to was it Toilet Row? Uh, no, Tom, uh, enjoy the uh, litigation, okay, because... Uh -huh. There's a lot of it coming your way, okay? Yeah. Uh, well, you, go, why don't you go go for it? Oh, don't think I, I'm not having papers drawn up right now. As soon as I deal with this kid in the ambulance, you're uh -huh. next, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, Augie, I, I wish your business nothing but the worst of luck. Okay. Tom, if I ever see you, here's what I'm going to do, okay? Okay. If you ever set foot in my place, you're going face first into the uh, batter butler, okay? Oh, that's fantastic. What, are you going to dunk me in? Yeah, consider yourself dunked, all right? Uh-huh. Okay. All right, and consider yourself hung up on. Well, thank you for listening to Best Show Gems, the best of the best show on WFMU. If you like what you just heard, the full-length program is done each and every Tuesday night from 8 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can listen on your radio in the New York, New Jersey area at 91.1 FM or anywhere on the globe at WFMU.org. WFMU.org also has an extensive archiving of all the previous episodes of The Best Show. And you can get more information on the program over at friendsoftom.com. I want to thank a few people, if I could. Martin DeGrell, the producer and compiler of Best Show Gems. Thank you, Martin. Mel Matsuoka, who is the producer of the full-length three-hour Best Show podcast each and every week, and the protector of the Best Show and WFMU archives. Thank you, Mel. John Worcester, obviously, thank you. Associate producer Mike and everybody at WFMU, thank you so much. If you like what you just heard, check out the full-length show. Uh, you can download the podcast or listen live at WFMU.org.